Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the journey map minimap mod for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to a playable world. So I'm just gonna go to a single player world here and then we'll be able to use journey map. Okay, and now we have journey map. So you notice two things here is that on the bottom left corner we have a message telling us to basically press J and on the top right corner we have our minimap. So here with the minimap we can see a couple of things. So here we're looking at the one on the top right here where we can basically see different mobs around the map. So here you can see there's a sheep for example, there is the wandering traders, there is some squids. And these are basically grey because they're not hostile. But basically if we get ourselves like a creeper, which is a hostile mob, it will get marked as red, as you can see on the map, as it is dangerous. Okay, so that is the simple thing with journey map. But it gets a bit more complicated once you click J. So if you do this once, you're gonna have this here with all the devs and everything. But what you want to do is simply go ahead and do close and this is what J actually gives. So if we do J again, well, we're in game, we do J again, we have this directly. So number one, what we see here is the actual chunks. So if we go ahead and fly in this direction and we load in a bunch of chunks into journey map and then we just kind of go back, we will be able to go ahead and see what has happened. So here we see that if we do J, we have more chunks. So that is pretty cool. Now we have some pretty cool features like if we want to zoom out, you can really go a lot with that and zoom in. And it is quite detailed as you can see there is different blocks here and you can see what blocks is where which is really cool. You can also use the score wheel to do the same thing. Here you have follow here, the player, and you can do location fun if you want to do for location, but yeah. So here we have different biomes that we can change in time of day. So here we have day, we have night map, we have biome, here we have topography, so height, and here we have caves if we had any. So yeah, we can turn that off, but here is what we have for this as well. Here you can do show caves, again, we're not underground, show mobs. We don't have much mobs here. Animals, we can show pets and everything. We can show keys. These are basically all settings that we can turn on and off in journey map, which is really cool. This is just basically the uh, journey map settings. Okay, and here we have different things like waypoints that we can go ahead and set if we wanted to. And I'll show you how to do this real quick, but we have options here as well, which is our presets with all the weapons and everything, which is really cool. And here we have our color palette, which is all the different blocks and everything that is on the map. And here we have save map and auto map. So this save map here just saves the map and whatever we did on it. Okay, so for example, you'll use this thing mainly for a couple things which is just, for example, the waypoints. Uh, so you have a minimap, number one, where we can just go ahead and see that, okay, it is following us as well. And it is tracking what I've selected, which was number one here. So one of these mobs, which is really cool. But the idea here is if we go ahead and add a waypoint, and you can know how to do this by going to options, controls, keybinds, and if we scroll down, you will see journey map. And here we have change map type, create waypoint. As you can see, this one is actually incorrect because it is using a key that we already have. So we'll just do L, no, P, no, J, no, I. So it will now be I. So just try to find something which is not being used by the game already. And if you do done, and now what you want to do here is just do I, and this is new waypoint. This is the name of the waypoint. You can call it one, for example. This is its location. You can give it its color. And you can do submit. And now you can just do save. And there you go. We now have a waypoint, which looks like a beacon. So yeah, 
That is one thing you can do with journey map is create little waypoints that shows up here. And if we go on J, we also see our waypoint, which is like right here. So yeah, that is some other stuff you can do with journey map. So locate things around you. And here we can see a bunch of hostile mobs which showed up because it's nighttime. And we have a waypoint here called one and it can go 30 meters, no, 27. It's a really cool change with normal Minecraft here. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is some of the uses of journey map, which is just, yeah, mainly just trekking around, keeping chunks and keeping your know, different bases, for example. Just like, okay, I have my house here. I can do another waypoint over there. Here, 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 here. Really cool stuff. So yeah, that is how we use journey map for Minecraft Java. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.